All right, Brewers Spring Training Day 20, and the Brewers will have a spring breakout game for the first game of the day. After those first two outs, there would be three quick walks. Then Luis Lara would get the third out. The Royals would get their first two outs plus a hit-by-pitch. Then another hit-by-pitch and a strikeout. Rodriguez and Aranama would have back-to-back singles. Tyler Black and Jackson Cheerio would get back-to-back outs. Brock Wilkin and Jefferson Carroll would get back-to-back walks, making it 2 to nothing. Noah Cameron would come into the game, and Wes Clark would strike out. The Royals would go 1-2-3. Oh my gosh, how many times do I have to say 1-2-3 in the past day? But the Brewers have a 1-2-3. Carson Rocaforte and Peyton Wilson would get back-to-back walks. Then Javier Voss and Gavin Cross would get back-to-back strikeouts. Wallace would get walked. Shane Smith would replace Jacob Mizorowski, and then Carter Jansen would strike out. Daniel Giarte would get the first out. A Tyler Black triple, then a Jackson Cherio single would make it 3 to nothing. Then Brock Wilkin and Mike Bovey would get back-to-back outs. Logan Henderson would come into the game, then he would give up a home run. Middendorf would replace Logan Henderson after one batter, then Blake Mitchell would get walked. The Royals would get two more walks the rest of the inning. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Brett Wachowski would replace Ryan Middendorf. A Brett Squires RBI single would make it 3-3. Blake Mitchell would strike out, then Austin Charles would hit into a double play. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Then the Royals would go 1-2-3. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3, except for an Eric Batonti single. Josh Noth would replace Brett Wachowski. The Royals would have a dull inning. Justin Yeager would come in, then he'd give up a walk-off wild pitch. The Brewers lose their spring breakout game 4-3. to three. The player of the game for the Brewers is Jacob Mizorowski. Let's head into Game 2. Game 2 would start off with a 1-2-3. The Royals would get some hits and walks, but no runs. Oliver Dunn would get the first run on the board with a ground rule double. An Andrew Monasterio double and a Blake Perkins single would make it 3-0. Then after that, the Royals would go 1-2-3. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3, except for a Jake Bowers walk. The Royals would have a practical 1-2-3, except for a Bobby Wood single. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Brian Hudson would come into the game, and, and he would have a quick inning. The first two outs for the Brewers, then a single. Noah Murdoch would replace Cole Reagans, then the Brewers would put out another run. The Royals would hit back-to-back-to-back singles. Then a Bobby Wood RBI single would make it 4-2. Then the Royals would put up two more. Then Velasquez and Fermi would get back-to-back outs. Will Smith would replace Noah Murdoch. It's not this Will Smith. Or the Will Smith for the Dodgers. Yeah, 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 this Will Smith. Oliver Dunn would single and steal second base. Owen Miller would get walked, then there would be a double steal. Then after that, the Brewers would have a 1-2-3, and yet still score run, making it 5-4. to four. The Royals would go 1-2-3. Eric Costa would get an RBI double. Oliver Dunn would get the third out. Pete Garrett would go throw a 1-2-3. Kilgore would give up a single. Two stolen bases to walk, then a strikeout. The Royals would go 1-2-3 again. A hit by pitch, then a 1-2-3. The Royals would have a pretty quick inning to end out the game. Alright, the Brewers win 6-4, the record is now 9-13-1, and the Brewers' respective Brewers player of the game goes to Oliver Dunn.